Hello everyone and welcome. Recently I had the opportunity to test out the AMG SL63, which is a pretty awesome car. It's got a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 engine, so plenty of torque, well over 600 pound feet. Uh, but one of the really cool things about it was the suspension setup, which it has, which Mercedes calls active body control. So that's what we're gonna be explaining in this video. How does that active body control work? And so basically what it is, uh, you're looking at, you've got the strut here, so you've got your spring and your shock absorber, but in series with that, so you've got your spring and shock absorber in parallel, and then in series with that, you have a hydraulic cylinder. And so what this hydraulic cylinder allows you to do is to change the length of that strut. So basically any corner of the vehicle, you can change uh, how high the ride height is using these hydraulic cylinders. So you can add in oil and you can lengthen it as you see here, very simple. It's gonna look more like this, uh, but this is a simplified version to kind of get how it works. Or you know you can release that pressure and as you release that pressure it's going to go back uh, you've got the weight of the car you could have a return spring uh, anything like that so it's going to return it back to a shorter ride height so you're going to leave it somewhere in the middle so that you can deal with bumps so if you do hit a bump what you're going to do is shorten the suspension to compensate for that and if you were to hit a pothole or a dip you'll lengthen it so that the wheel let's say you're about to go over a pothole the wheel will go down in it the ride height of the car will remain the same so here we have an example where we've got a bump coming up in the road you can see the wheel has no choice the center of the wheel has to go over that bump so it's going to go up like so then you've got this hydraulic actuator that's going to follow that path of the wheel and so what it's going to do is shorten the suspension so the wheel will come up but the body won't really move all that much so you'll see the hydraulic actuator is going to follow that same curve but then the curve uh, the body of the car however is going to just follow this nice almost flat line you're going to have a little bit of you know an incline and decline right there uh, but it's going to be much smoother than if you just had a traditional suspension so it's really going to calm down the ride of this vehicle now they have another thing which they call magic body control and that's where they have a camera looking out at the road ahead and so it sees what's coming up and then it actively changes it knowing based on the timing of what it sees ahead so it you know it takes it one step further this reacts to what it feels uh, versus magic body control is going to use a camera and it's going to actively look at what's ahead and use that to change the suspension length so a really cool system of what they do um, and you know it's all going to be dependent on how much travel this thing has so for smaller bumps like you've got here this road surface you're going to be able to maintain a perfectly smooth ride for larger bumps, which are going to be outside of the range that this can travel, uh, it's just going to smooth that out. So it's not going to be perfect. I mean, it's not just going to keep a level car ride, obviously, if you go higher than the car is itself or something like that. Uh, but it's able to smoothen that out so it looks nice and it's going to be very comfortable. So what are the advantages of using a system like this? Well, the biggest thing is passenger comfort. It's kind of the extreme level of passenger comfort because the body of the car really isn't moving much. Uh, so you're able to keep the body really flat. You won't spill your coffee. Uh, the other thing it does is it can keep the body really flat in cornering, or let's say you accelerate, usually you're gonna have that car lean back. Well, you can have it compensate for that and push it back so that even though your, your springs are gonna compress, you can have this extend, and so that way you can keep the body flat as you accelerate or as you brake. So as you brake, you're gonna have a nose dive, you can compensate for that and keep it flat. So really cool that you can compensate for all kinds of body roll with this system. Um, and you can even, one thing they've talked about doing is have the car lean into corners. So kind of like a motorcycle. So if you're coming into a corner and let's say we're taking a right hand turn, if you're on a motorcycle, you're gonna lean into that corner. But in a car, the car is gonna roll out. Well, what this system can do is tilt the car into that corner. So as you go around it, you tilt in. And then they say that this is just for comfort. It's not for performance. Um, so it's not gonna let you corner faster but it's gonna kind of hug you better in that corner because you're not flopping to the outside. You're kind of having that G-force go down into the seat rather than to the outside of the car. So some really cool things that they've uh, been able to do implementing this system uh, and compensating for all sorts of body roll. Uh, so I think it is a pretty cool system. And now we'll go ahead and check out some of my thoughts on the SL63. 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 that you hear. Wow, that's a good sound. 
$165,000 car that you're looking at right here, um, which is pretty pricey. Uh, that V8's producing 577 horsepower, 664 pound-feet of torque, um, so quite a bit of power going to those rear wheels. You do have a limited slip differential, uh, which I could feel the traction control kicking in as I was going through that corner there, so plenty of power to get things loose if that's what you're into. When you're cornering, it uh, uses all the sensors, so it's got wheel sensors, ride height sensors at each corner, and so it knows the height of the vehicle, and if you're going around a corner and cornering really heavily, it keeps the body perfectly flat while you're going through that corner uh, based on those sensors and then it adjusts hydraulic pressure at each corner in order to make sure that the vehicle stays perfectly flat. They call it active body control. Um, so that is pretty cool and you can kind of experience that just kind of going back and forth and see how it stays nearly perfectly flat there. <laughs> it's a good fun vehicle, this twin turbo engine very responsive honestly you don't really notice too much turbo lag there you get torque pretty immediately once your foot is down especially in the manual shifting mode you don't have to wait for it to shift gears for you and honestly the manual shifting is pretty quick pretty good i like that yeah very quick down shifting there yeah extremely quick really nice transmission I was wondering if I would think, you know, is this worth $165,000? That NSX behind us is probably, you know, around $165,000. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if it truthfully is, but you know, it certainly has the performance to match the price tag. This thing is quick. That sound is a bit strange. It's kind of a whistle. I don't. I don't know, I like the sound of the exhaust, but then there's something else on top of that which I don't think sounds quite as good. Kind of like a referee letting you know that you shouldn't be doing that because you're way over the speed limit. So maybe it's for your safety. So thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Wow, we're doing Let's slow down. I mean, we're doing 10. Sorry, I just misread the speedometer there.